Okay, now I've got a uh, definite picture on here, and as you can see, whoa! I think I know why they call them puffballs, huh? Send smoke signals to Chicago with these. Zaites caparata, or the gypsy mushroom. And one other little batch we got is, let's see, right up here. These are the honey mushrooms, they're Armillaria alamea. Here's one of the Rosites caparata. Uh, it's kind of an older specimen here. Trying to pick it. You can see the veil on it. Uh, and it goes underneath. Still Rosites caparata, the gypsy mushroom. And uh, these are various stages from the button here, right to the button stage, to one that has just opened up a little bit. And one that is probably a little bit right on the maturity stage here, all the way to the one that is uh, totally mature, probably almost all spored out. You can definitely tell the color of spores. Come a problem, well, kind of a rare find. Not really rare, but I mean for this type of an area. But this is uh, Caprinus atramentarius. It's auto-digesting, as you can tell. It's a black, inky mess. That's the way they spore out, they uh, melt. This mushroom gives a very special effect if you drink alcohol and eat it. Eat the mushroom, it acts the same way anabuse does. So if ever you eat these, within about 24 or 48 hours, you don't want to drink anything. Before or after, they can really make you sick. Amanita mascara. It's a fly agaric, they call it. And the reason for that is if you take the caps and put them in a saucer of milk, it stupefies the flies. And Kills them. This was used like a fly strip in a early times. times. Pluteus, it's Pluteus cervinus, usually grows on wood. It's an edible, uh, not particularly tasting all that. It's great. commonly called the bluet. It has a purplish tinge to it. Usually grows in leaf litter along paths. Uh, right there is another one, which you probably can't see all. Uh, it kind of gives you an idea of the variations in sizes uh, and colors at uh, different stages of growth and maturity. But they all have a pink spore print or uh, a violet colored. The Nematoloma species, uh, it's commonly called the brick cap because of the coloration of the cap. And it has a purplish gray colored spore print, but the gills are white on it underneath. Oh, the the uh, Nematoloma species again, the brick cap. I haven't tried eating these, however, they're starting to fruit very well. and. I did a spore print on them last night. Yeah. All right, right here you have uh, two types of lobster mushrooms, or should I say hypomyces. The green one, which attacks uh, uh, Russula species, is hypomyces luteovirens, and then again the other, hypomyces lactiflorum, which is the one that looks coloration like a, a lobster. Let's see, it's Friday. Uh, Tom left sometimes this morning. I'm here all by myself. I don't know if we've even gotten a picture of our lovely home in the uh, wilderness. Is not, but this is it. Two days of squirrel hunting. Just in the morning for a couple hours. Uh, I got quite a few meals there, so we're well ahead of the game. Got a couple days, maybe three days worth of meals for Didn't me. Didn't go squirrel hunting, so I decided to go out pad hunting instead. Got one rough grouse there. Uh, put out five. Only got the one. Only got one. Shot. Uh, I'm gonna make some jam, or maybe uh, just make some Kool-Aid out of it today. Um, probably later on when there's nothing else. High bush cranberry syrup. Uh, I was gonna make some jam or jelly yesterday, but uh, I didn't have any ingredients to make it with. So tonight we're gonna have. Well, maybe not tonight, but we're gonna have beaver pretty soon. There, there's a. Nice beaver we got. Uh, smokehouse where we, we've got salmon. We went down to Harrisville and so far we've caught four. Probably right around 20, 25 pounds. Film here. Uh, this is just gorgeous. This is a salmon. As you can see the little fire that's going right now. All I'm doing is cooking them. They've smoked for like six hours. Very already. good. I, I've tried some out of it already that have been uh, cooking for a while and are thinner pieces and it's this just morning for a little while and uh, Got a black squirrel and a fox squirrel, so at least I get to eat lunch. And these are Craterellus phallax. They have the salmon colored spores. Uh, Craterellus cornucopiotes has white spores, and the other Craterellus black chanterelle family is, uh, well, I, I believe they're white too. I haven't looked all of them up, but uh, anything that you ever find that is black like that, that looks like the trumpet, it's the horn of plenty, trumpet of death, whatever you want to call it, they are all the Craterellus phallax 
species and variations are Official, all choice. The buck edible. is hanging. It's definite uh, time to That's celebrate. Day deer camp. Oh. This is what happened to us since we've been here. When we got here, it was nice and uh, green and warm. It was around September 27th. Today, I believe, is November 25th or 26th.